first tried Spio, I think it's two years ago, because Gayloid told me that it would be a good product. And so I got a sample at the NDT conference in Connecticut, and I was teaching an eight-week course at that time, so I just took it with me. I got the two vests, the, the small one and I guess a medium one. And so it's like, okay, here we have this vest. We're, teach we're working with these kids, and let's try it. So I tried it in a demo, and it was amazing. It was like, it just organized the child, and, and so we were really very encouraged to go on. One of the children that we tried it with was a child with autistic tendencies. And he wasn't officially diagnosed, and he just organized with it, and so we were all very interested. So then we started to try it on anybody that it would fit on, <laughs> and, um, and I just was amazed, so I fell in love with it. So I carry it with me everywhere I go when I teach and try it with everybody. I taught a short course after that, and I was treating a baby in this course, 14 months old, and she was a child with athetoid movements, moving everywhere, and everybody had been trying to get her to stand up. But every time you stood her up, she put her feet out like she was sitting. She never would put her feet down. So I treated her for a half hour. I tried to get her standing. I tried a lot of things, and some things worked and some things didn't. So I said, okay, let's put the suit on. So you put the suit on, and she stood up immediately. The first time, you know, in 14 months, I mean, her mother was there, I, and the whole class was there, and it, we all said, Oh, I think this really works. <laughs> I, I have another little girl that I consult with, and we, we got one for her. They ordered it because she worked. It, she also had autistic-like tendencies, very low tone. And when we put it on, she, she just settled down when she had it on uh, with the sample. So we, the mom ordered one. We got it, and she wore it every day, uh, all during the school, and a little bit at home, but then she'd take it off. And I think it taught her how to be organized. And so she doesn't wear it anymore. So she wore it for about a year, and she doesn't need it anymore. And so this little girl that I told you about that, that actually bought one and, and then stopped wearing it, she had a very wide base uh, in her legs when she was walking. So we put it on, and her legs came right in line with her body. So. In fact, she still has it. I don't even. I didn't even get that one back. She, it, we really. I said, "All right, it's my sample, but I'm not taking that off of her." It's just. It is amazing. Then I tried it on another child at this center where I go, who, who has seizures. He's very low tone. He has a scoliosis, and he was just like picking up Jello, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it just gave make him, made him solid. And so w his nurse was with him, and she said, "Oh, I can pick him up." You know, I don't have to wonder, you know, where am I going to put my hands because he just sort of slips through. I, it, it just, you know, it's in front of our eyes that it happens, so that's why people are convinced that, oh, I think I'm going to do this. I, I love it. It's, it's very easy to put on. The vest is extremely easy to put on. I think it's very easy to wash and take care of because I do it. I wash after every child um, because I'm using it on everyone, and, and I just put it out flat to dry, and it's it's very easy to take care of. Um, I think it gives the compression. It, it, it has to give some sort of sensory input, proprioception. Um, I, I think it's more than tactile. Um, I think it's more the, the compression proprioception. I, I don't know, you know, it's just, it just works. <laughs> I, I'm totally convinced. It's like, a, and as I said, I want one myself. <laughs>